I'm Adil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to solve absolute function inequality. The question is solve absolute value of 2x plus 4 greater than or equal to 12x. First step is to define the absolute function. Write it as a piecewise function. So we have absolute value of 2x plus 4 which is equals to 2x plus 4 when 2x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 0 and is negative of 2x plus 4 when 2x plus 4 is less than 0, right? Absolute value is always positive. So whenever this value is negative, you have to take negative of that. That is what it means. Well, let me rewrite this as 2x plus 4 when, let us simplify this, taking 4 to the right side because minus 4 dividing by 2 is minus 2. So I can write this as x is greater than or equals to minus 2. And let me open this bracket. Minus 2x minus 4 when x is less than minus 2. Right? So that is how you can define your absolute function. Now this absolute function clearly indicates that we need to simplify in two particular intervals. The first interval for us will be from minus infinity to minus 2 and the second one will be from minus 2 to infinity, right? We can actually include minus 2 in this interval, right? So we have included one side. So my recommendation is always include on the right side, okay? Greater than equal to, right? Now, when the interval is minus infinity to minus 2, that is, we're talking about less than minus 2, absolute value of 2x plus 4 could be written as minus 2x minus 4, correct? Therefore, the inequality becomes that thing greater than or equals to 12x. When the interval is greater than or equal to minus 2, in that case, 2x plus 4 could be written as 2x plus 4, greater than or equals to 12x, that becomes the inequality. Now you can pause the video, solve for these two intervals and then write down your answer. Okay, let's do it. So bring x terms together. I'm avoiding negative sign on the left side for x. So I'll take this on the right side. We have minus 4 greater than or equals to 12x plus 2x or negative 4 is greater than or equals to 14x. Dividing by 14, we have uh, x which is less than or equals to minus 4 over 14 or we can say x is less than or equals to minus 2 over 7, right? So that is what we have on the left side. Let us also show this result on a number line, right? Let's say this is our number line on which this point indicates minus 2 for us, right? So this is minus 2. Let us say somewhere here we have 0. Now we are saying x is less than, we are saying this is same as x is less than equals to, means left side of minus 2 over 7, right? So minus 2 over 7 is closer to 0. So what we are saying is it is less than equals to something like this, right? From here. Since we are only considering interval from minus 2, will actually include from minus 2 only towards the left side, right? So we cannot include this portion. I hope you understand, correct? Since it is not in our interval. So this is the portion which we get from solving inequality on the left side of minus 2, okay? Now let's do the right side. We get 2x uh, plus 4. So what we will do here is we'll take 2x on the right side. So we'll keep 4 here we have 12x minus 2x. So 4 is greater than or equals to 10x. Dividing by 10, we have 4 divided by 10 is greater than or equal to x, which is x is less than 2 over 5. Correct. So x is less than 2 over 5. So on the right side of minus 2, our solution is that x is less than or equal to 2 over 5. So 2 over 5, let us say this point is 2 over 5 for us. And we are saying 
on this side, correct? Now this interval is between minus 2 to infinity, so the solution is including minus 2 up to this point, right? So that is how we get this interval. Earlier minus 2 was not included, but this time minus 2 is included, right? That one, because we are not including minus 2 on left, okay. Anyway, so what you see from here is that the solution for us is everything less than equals to 2 over 5 will satisfy this particular inequality. And now we can write down our answer that is x is less than equals to 2 over 5, right? So that is how you get the solution of the given question. I hope the steps are simple and useful and you can apply them in solving inequalities based on absolute functions. Thank you and all the best.